Okay, so let me show you how to trace an image uh, in Adobe Illustrator for laser engraving. So start with a new file. And then we're doing um, art and illustration and change this to inches and you your canvas is going to be a four inch by four inch canvas click create okay so the next thing that you have to do is look for an image so i already have an image right here selected um, some of the things that I did after uh, typing in the search term and going to images is to click on tools, click on line drawing, click on large. Uh, you can also opt to use clip art and then color black and white. But for my purpose, I am going to select this. So I'm going to copy the image and paste it. To zoom out, just press control minus. And then to resize, make sure that you press and hold shift, the shift key. So your image comes out right. Okay, so zoom in once more. And then all you have to do is click on the image that you placed and click on image trace. And you can go with default since I already have a line art <clears throat> or I could go click on black and white logo if I have something else than a line art. So I'll just go with default. And then let's click on the image trace panel here to see uh, if there's anything that we need to change. Uh, fill should be checked strokes shouldn't be and then click on ignore white and then click expand and now it's expanded okay so the next thing that you have to do is for uh, the laser engraver laser cutter reads information based on the color of the lines and the fill to make um, fills, you need to change the color to RGB blue. So double click on fill or click on fill and then choose the blue, the one that says RGB blue and click on that. And strokes should be in black. So this will give the, the laser cutter the instruction that those should be drawn as lines and not as fills. So stroke, click on black and then lower down the size the thickness to 0.25 but really um, the laser cutter does not read 0.25 it reads hairline which is not um, supported here in Adobe Illustrator so we'll do some more work with another software called uh, Corel draw so so with this information right here the blue would be the fills the black are your stroke or your lines and then you need to draw a red circle or you could draw the form of uh, the object that you tra that you traced in my case i'm just gonna draw an ellipse or a circle and you have to change the fill to none and the stroke to red, RGB red, and then just lower that to 0.25. Okay, draw a circle. You could press shift simultaneously as you drag to constraint it to a circle. And then you can also hold on to the space bar at the same time so that you could position the circle in place. So right now I'm moving the mouse. Okay, the mouse button is depressed, and then I'm my fingers are on shift and uh, space bar and then release I have a circle then I'm gonna do another circle right here press 
and hold shift to constrain it so I get a circle and then there you go so what happens is that uh, Adobe Illustrator will put in the fill and then uh, draw the lines and then cut a circle okay this one big piece and then the smaller piece okay but if you don't want to draw a circle you could definitely work with the pen tool the pen tool will need to have will uh, require you to be uh, patient with it because um, um, this is not an illustrator class and so I'm not going to delve much into this. All I'm going to show you is that you can do it by just clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging and all that. So let me do an example. So I could just trace this by using the pen tool again. And again, fill should be none, stroke should be red. So I go click and then click and then drag. So I'm holding the mouse, I'm dragging. So essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to trace the outline of this uh, character that I have. So again, this tool needs a lot of getting used to. And so your first try isn't going to come out perfect, but that's fine. Okay, once you're done, uh, click on the direct selection tool. It's this white arrow right here. And now you could actually move in some of those points. So if you click on that line that you drew, you could click on a point called an anchor. And then you can click and drag it and re reposition it. And you could also click on the handle to change the, um, to change the shape of the curves. So okay so let's say i'm just happy with what i have right here i'm going to add a circle to make it more like a keychain and there you go so again the laser cutter uh the laser engraver will look at this as blue for the fills the black would be the lines and then the red would be the cut marks so save your file name it as your character and then leave that piece right there as AI and then once you have it saved uh, move it to your uh, shared folder